Hi, Tim Skell here, ABB HVAC Application Engineering. Today we are going to set up BACnet MSTP, so the twisted pair version of BACnet, into an ACH580 drive. I'm going to show you how easy that is to do, and there's no need to memorize parameters. So first thing I'm going to do is hit Menu, go into Primary Settings. So for all you controls contractors out there who do a little bit with ABB drives, but not a whole lot. Don't worry about memorizing parameters. Just remember these basic steps here. Primary settings. And then I'm going to go down. There's a couple of ways I can actually get to it. I'm just going to scroll down to communication because it's right here on this main, main tree right here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit select. And I'm going to go into the communication setup. And EFB, that stands for Embedded Field Bus. So the drive has BACnet MST built into it. It also has other protocols like Modbus built into it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and select BACnet MSTP. Hit Save here. And we're getting the drive ready for BACnet. And what we're going to do here is, what's my station ID? In my lingo, that's my MAC ID. So let's say I am MAC ID 50. Two, why not? 52 sounds good for my MAC ID. MAC IDs need to be unique on the wire. So a lot of times they end up being a little bit smaller numbers than that. You can set the baud rate. The 580 does have an auto baud detection. So usually I use that. But if I happen to know, which the controls contractor will know what my baud rate is. So let's say it's faster at 76.8 and go ahead and set that up. And then I got my device object instance ID. So this is the number that needs to be unique within that entire network. So let's say mine happens to be 10,000, well, let's say 12,000, 11,900, why not? So there's my device object instance ID. If I'm really fancy, I wanna like try to really optimize my wire, I can do things like lower my max master. So if there is only 59 masters on that wire, I could lower that so that way it's not hunting for and polling and checking for device or MAC IDs above that. Uh, the other settings here, usually you're not going to get in, in, involved in changing too often like max info frames, things like that. What you can do is also set up what do you want the drive to do if it senses the backnet wire to crash. So if you're just monitoring over backnet, usually you're going to ignore it. But if you're doing control over BACnet, maybe what you want it to do is run at the last good speed that it had. Or maybe I want it to fault. Or maybe I want it to run at some fixed speed. So these are all options that I could go ahead and set the drive to do if comms had dropped. So that's, you can kind of set it up also if you want to ignore comm losses for say 30 seconds or less. Um, so you could ignore those short, short term where the back net wire crashes just to give somebody time to uh, get it back up if somebody is doing some service work on that wire and, and uh, disconnected the twisted pair somewhere. So there's a little bit of flexibility here. And then once you are done uh, with a lot of products, especially older ones, you have to cycle power to get the parameters to change and, and not change, but get saved into the drive. Uh, with the ACH580, all I need to do is select this apply settings to the embedded field bus. Go ahead and do that and now it's saving that information to our memory uh, within the drive there is no need to go ahead and cycle power on it so there you go you have just set up backnet mstp in the ach 580 easy as that if you got any questions reach out to your local abb representative or your abb factory application engineer thank you